Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 for some more silly car rally cross. And my vehicle today is the KTM Crossbow. Yes, we're going to take the uh, track car around. Uh, well, it's a track of sorts, but uh, yeah, not designed for uh, going off road. This vehicle. We'll see how uh, how it's going to fare. Now, as far as upgrades, this vehicle is absolutely maxed out, and as you can see, the PI is very near the limit. If the cars go into X-Class, I can't use them, because I can't get into Rivals mode, so I can't use the tracks. This is right on the edge. Uh, it's probably the highest PI I've ever had for one of these builds. The engine we are going for is the 3 litre V8 Racing, the engine from an Aerial Atom V8, 775 horsepower, 447 torque. Same engine that we used in the Lotus 11 that got the 11 to very fast in a straight line, but it wasn't too good through the corners and that is the uh, the fear again or with uh, with this vehicle is that it's going to be so powerful that trying to use that power on dirt in a vehicle like this uh, could be uh, could be interesting uh, admittedly you know it, it it should be still a good car it's a, it's a track vehicle after all i don't have as many fears for this on the speed run as we had with the alfa romeo last time out the tires are sensible sized as well 275s I would like them to be a bit bigger. I mean, I think that's. I think the Alphas were two eight fives. They're okay sized tyres that we have on this car. They're a lot bigger than the Lotus Eleven, so it's like one nine fives on there. I don't think we will be as bad as the uh, the Lotus on uh, on traction. The front tyres again, you know, they're not massive, but I think it should be. It should be okay, whether it will be or not, I don't know. And of course, we've got the full air of the rear wing on this one. It looks it looks slightly out of place having a rear wing on on this car. It, it just, there's just nowhere to mount one, really, with the way the body is. But uh, yeah, we're going to need all the downforce that we can get, all the grip that we can get. Everything else, of course, is maxed out. Oh, well, there's no option for any weight reduction on this car as it is already sort of uh, stupidly light as it is and as far as it, there's not a huge amount of parts you can do to the uh, the turbo uh, to the the v8 racing sorry turbos uh, of course gone for the twin turbo option i think it's the only aspiration you can put on the car and uh, decent ish power like nothing there's nothing uh, outstandingly uh, <laughs> interesting really with uh, with a lot of the vehicle the main of course the main concern is is can we put the power down through the rear wheels and how will this car deal with being off-road now the ktm is it's certainly a leaderboard car in Forza 5. All the leaderboards in the sort of around a class uh, are just ruled by the ktm crossbow however certainly from standard they are a very difficult car to drive they suffer from the same problems as the aerial atom and so on they have a lot of front end grip and none of the rear end grip which makes them very slidey now on horizon 2 i've never driven this car before uh, on here i don't know what to expect from it as uh, we go to the the back roads brawl circuit i have no idea what we're going to get from this car i will assume that horizon the cars are a little bit easier to drive they tend to be a little bit grippy a little bit uh, more forgiving so from from the basics i would assume the ktm would be a little better but we have got nearly 800 horsepower in a very light car that's designed to race on tarmac and we're going to be largely on dirt it should be very very fast through the first two, sort of couple of corners the the tarmac section it should be bloody fast through but uh, the rest of it i don't know i don't know what to expect I mean, last time out i thought the alpha was going to go quickly and it didn't uh, the current leader the maserati gibble with a, a 53.788 i um, I don't know. I mean, this, I mean, in theory, this is by far the highest PI of any car we've had. It's all about how well can it deal with the dirt. Now, I have got six laps to set as fast a lap time as possible. A little bit of wheel spin off the line, but again, nothing compared to, uh, to that Lotus 11. Oh, we can use power! It's the first vehicle that we have been able to actually use some of uh, some of its power. Okay, we got a uh, a little bit carried away. We're gonna take out a bush, but uh, I'm not actually. I don't have to worry about being in a high gear necessarily. No, uh, we're all over the place. We're just exploring. It's fine. We're going on ex explor explorative, whatever. You know the word I mean. Uh, on this first lap, whoa, that's very very. 
<laughs> sideways indeed. That's incredibly sideways from the crossbow. Oh, that's a new... I don't think we've found that bush before. I don't think we've gone out that way. Oh, look at the speed, though, we're getting down here. Yeah, it's it's quick. I think this may well go fastest. It's absolutely flying. <laughs> it's gone quicker on its first lap from a standing start than the Alfa Romeo did in all it. And it's quicker than the MX-5 as well already. Oh, dear. No, we're still in the bushes. Get out of the bushes. No. There we go. Uh, it, it, the, the traction is not... Okay, maybe it's a, it's a small issue. Um, it, it's not sort of spinning the wheels up. It's kind of... Uh, finding the grip is uh, <laughs> proving a little uh, a little elusive. Sort of actual uh, carrying any corner speed with this car is proving a little bit tricky. And the second you end out at a position for one corner, chances are you're going to end up out of position for the next one. And so it carries on and we're going, <laughs> we're going very sideways. It's remarkably easy. Oh, we've got the barrels. Uh, it might be easy to control this car when it's sideways. It's, I've not spun it yet. Uh, whoa, no. Uh, no, dear. We're having issues. We're having issues. I think what's, uh, what, what part of the issue is, at least, is that because there is so much front-end grip, the car gets a little twitchy, and then you kind of overcorrect, expecting it to be like the other vehicles I've driven, but see, this has more front-end grip, so you end up overcorrecting, and then you keep wiggling around the road and falling off the course. That's uh, not a good idea. I think that might be where some of my issues of staying on the road are coming from. Oh, yes, there. It would have been very, very easy. I just about caught it in time to have overcorrected too much and then go flying off into the foliage. So we're going to have to be careful. You've got to be a little delicate with this car in different ways. Like the throttle, I mean, you can't be a complete and utter yobbo with it, but it's certainly, uh, you can, I can use a lot more power. I don't have to be anywhere near as care. I probably should have been there. Oh, bugger it. But... <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up, shall I? And we, I, I won't try and make a point. Can we can we go through here forwards? Can we get out? Uh, the, the the lovely track marshals will have come to uh, have fixed all of that by the time <laughs> by the time I get there. Okay, on the most part, you can be a bit. Uh, you, you can use a lot more of the power. You can you can. I mean, we're going much quicker down here. Uh, we would have been if I hadn't stuffed it in the barrels. Uh, and again, over this jump here, 125 miles an hour uh, across that jump. Oh, and then we're going to get it slowed down for these first few corners. All right, now we've got to get. We have to. We're going to have to go for a good lap soon. We have to stop prattling about with the scenery and uh, actually go for a uh, a decent run. There we go. Much better on this early part. I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. Oh, I, I don't like that corner. I keep end up getting out of position. Then it throws me off for the next corner. Uh, we're back in a rhythm sort of nope not really turned you know it's uh <laughs> see i'm now worried about sort of it being too snappy at the front end and now i'm not turning enough for corners oh no we've got <sighs> it's just that it's uh, it's a very similar problem to the, the issues i have with this car on uh on forza 5 it's there's so much front end grip is actually causing problems by, by being twitchy we're not spinning out which is quite lucky considering we're on dirt there is enough rear end grip so that uh, that we don't spin it but it's just that little bit awkward to to make small corrections and on dirt well we're going to be making lots of small correction when there's bumps and you're never quite sure what grip you're going to get oh i cut that corner massively <laughs> never mind oh you see I, uh, yeah it's just little little things and I'm, I'm trying to do little movements with it and it's not oh it's it's, it's so so responsive it's causing problems on here. Whoa, bad KTM. Well, we're going this way, apparently. I don't think this is not going to really help the lap time that much, considering we were <laughs> all out of shape through the next bit. We'll keep it in third. Uh, through here. Try and use some power coming up towards this bit. Play it brave with the tree. We got that, and then keep to the left here across the jump. We could have been a little bit faster there, I think. Across the line. Oh, we're still not gone fastest. We're still not gone quicker than the gibble. Right, we're going to have to go concentrating mode on this uh, this final lap. I'm just going to try and not fight the car so much. Uh, across the bump we were okay, just about. And then don't fight it down here. That was much smoother. I actually stayed on the road. No, oh, but it did not like that at all. <laughs> that very nearly got away from me. Just uh, firing it from side to side across the bump. This is the corner where we get big sidewaysness, and we've got big sidewaysness again. 
Uh, we'll keep it under control just about. Don't let it twitch you into a barrel. It's fine. Third gear is good through here. And then we'll try and use some more of the speed. Or oh, <laughs> the acceleration where it just suddenly finds some grip. Uh, it's, and it's off. It's absolutely flying towards the line. Hey, we've gone fastest. The... <laughs> The KTM, perhaps unsurprisingly, considering it is by far the highest PI vehicle here, uh, goes to the top of the table as we take out some barrels uh, with a 52.654, going a second quicker than the Maserati Gibble. But I think that's still quite impressive on the Gibbles, on the Gibbles' behalf, that it's that close to a, uh, a KTM crossbow. Yeah, little issues with being a twitchy bugger this car it's just that just that bit twitchy so trying to make small corrections over bumps and jumps and it's very easy to just fling yourself into the scenery if you get it all together of course the ktm is uh, is very very fast but uh, it looks really weird to see a ktm covered in mud and stuff but uh, yeah if you get it right it's very fast but uh, very easy to get it wrong now it's time to take the car to the uh, motorway, see how fast it goes in a straight line. It's probably not going to like that quite as much. Um, this is not really a straight line speed, this car, this one. We should still get it well past 200, I would hope. Okay, time for some speed. All the driver tires are going over there. Apparently there's something interesting going on. Uh, what's down that way? Is that where the ruins are? Maybe. Um, yeah, KTM is not going to be the quickest car ever in a straight line it's not got a it's not got the most power seen it's still got a decent amount of power sure but it's nowhere near as much as some of the vehicles and the car is built to be a handling vehicle it's built to be good through the turns it's built to have drag and so on not really built for the uh, the straight line stuff uh right uh, that's mm hmm the, 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 there was more speed when we had the arrow on than we've done. Never mind, we'll try and adjust. I think the gears were too long, that's the problem. If we did drop it back to there, what are we at? <laughs> it seems like 195 is about all we're going to get. We can't even get 200 out of this? That's disappointing. And that <laughs> Wow, it really is. 195. That's it. That's all. Uh, we'll try. We'll probably. We'll probably do it long before we even get to the uh, the end of the motorway. It should be quite easy to get it to 195. In uh, in all honesty, we should have more than enough grip to weave in and out of traffic. I mean, the twitchy, the twitchiness may be a problem, but I don't think we're going to be doing sort of vicious enough swerves to actually really uh, affect the car. I love how you can see the suspension working and everything. Uh, on this, uh, we've pretty much reached its its top speed. That's it's all it's got to give. So, yeah, <laughs> it's not very quick. We're flat out here. There, <laughs> there's a lot of grip. I will I will give it that. That corner was easily at 180 miles an hour. But that that, that this this is literally this is all we're probably going to get from the uh, <laughs> from the car. Yeah, we weren't expecting miracles, right? We, we can play with the traffic if we want. We're going so slow compared to most of the vehicles, and there is plenty of grip in this until you hit a bump, and then it gets a little bit scary. We <laughs> this has now just become slalom your way through cars. A little bit on the dirt there. Oh, lorries! Uh <laughs> oh, bugger it! Oh, I was trying to be clever, and it, uh, I wasn't clever. I've made the lorries have a oh dear. That lorry, that, 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 have you forgotten how to car? You have! <laughs> Forget it, it might not be that quick, but it breaks all of the physics! It's completely broken the lorries. Fantastic, can we... Uh, there we go! <laughs> oh dear. It's uh, not the fastest car, but it is the first car to uh, break the physics on a... Well, no, uh, the first car to break the lorry physics on the speed run. We had the Jaguar that almost uh, that broke the floor. But uh, this one... Lorry's got really confused. Has uh, made the lorries phase through each other. That's going to be a nuisance on the uh, on the motorway. But, uh, yeah, there we go. 100, 190 odd miles an hour. It's not going to do much more. Uh, you can weave in and out of traffic quite nicely, but don't do it when there's bumps around. Bumps and traffic are quite a dangerous thing to... Uh, to be uh, to be finding yourself with 
because it will just just catch you out and can spin the car. Yeah, a little bit twitchy, not as bad as it was on Forza 5. Uh, even with all of this ridiculous amounts of power, it's um, yeah, it's it's a little bit more consistent, a little bit easier to drive, but you still got to be careful of, of the twitchiness. A little bit of overcorrecting going on after some getting used to. I'm sure it, I'm sure it would be uh, okay. Now we're just playing around with the lampposts. Uh, oh, that's not handbrake. I'm getting my forces confused. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it for this uh, for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Thank you.